So here we have the Volkswagen Polo on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. And then underneath this tray section, even more space again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. On the right-hand side, the speedometer and coolant temperature gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 59,375. The information displayed above that can be changed using buttons on the steering wheel. Uh, so we're on the driving data menu at the moment. You can, for example, have a digital readout for the speedometer. There are other menus available too, as you can see. So audio, telephone, vehicle status, and then the menu we started on just a moment ago. The buttons I was using to do that are just here over on the right hand side. We have phone controls over there as well and stereo controls. The stereo controls continue on the left along with cruise control just here. Over in the center, we then have the touch screen for the car. So we're on the radio menu at the moment. You will see that this car has got DAB, FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. Uh, press the media button just here and down the bottom uh, the source button will give you uh, a list of the different ways in which you can listen to music and you can see that they include Bluetooth audio So once you pair up your phone, which is done just here You can stream your music wirelessly uh, as well as making and receiving phone calls just above that We can turn our parking sensors off with our hazard warning lights the rear heated screen and that button turns off the stop and start This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel that system is turned off when that light is on So the system is on or off Below that, we've got the air conditioning. So you can determine the temperature, fan speed, and direction of the air. The air conditioning is turned off at the minute. That button will turn it on. This button will recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you set just here. You can turn that off whenever you wish to. We have auxiliary input, a 12 volt charging socket, and USB input just there. And then a five speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.